Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, like usual behind the camera, Danny. Hello, hello. And we are exploring an incredible place today of the Johnson family of Sarah and Herman that lived here. Look at this beauty that we have over here in the middle of the forest, left behind for almost 15 years right now. I just can't wait to show you the inside of this awesome house. Oh my God, Danny. You're not gonna believe your eyes. Wow, where did I just step into? This is literally one of the best houses that I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just kidding. I would never film something like this, but we came up the driveway here from this house because the house that we wanna film is a couple hundred meters uh, down the road, but we're gonna make our way through the forest to that abandoned house. And this just also happens to be abandoned and left behind but nothing that we would film. Let's head over there and let's make our way through the forest. Oh. It's still very early in the morning. You can hear the birds chirping in the background. I love that while exploring, yeah. going really through beautiful. the nature. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice hike that we're gonna make. And I believe there's also a creek that we have to cross. And we have to go down this mountainside, watch out. The leaves are all st still pretty wet here. Oh, so we're gonna probably be soaked when we get to the abandoned place. What a lovely forest, actually. It is. It's really beautiful yeah. with this light mor uh, morning light. Yeah, we're in Virginia today. Have we told you we're in Virginia already? No. We are in the state of Virginia, exploring again. Ooh. Going through the forest really feels like exploring for me. It's like you're going on an adventure in search for a treasure. And then you go completely through the forest, over creeks, over tree branches. And it gives me really that feeling of being a true explorer. Oh, look at this. Here we get the first glimpse of the creek. Oh, a little beach over here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the tree branch grows throughout the creek and forms the tree over here. The closer I always get to an abandoned building, the more excited I get to explore the places. And this one is supposedly very, very cool. So uh, you can guess my excitement right now. It's over the roof. Oh, we made it to the house itself. What's very interesting to me is that you can see the field has been recently plowed. So this field is still in use, even though the house over here is abandoned. So after ja Sarah and Herman passed away, they most likely kept using the field. Maybe another farmer bought it or something like that, but they don't use the house anymore. Okay, coming up to that backyard right now. Oh, this have, must have uh, most likely been their garage over here. There's not much left inside of it. Let's see if we can find something interesting. And there it is already. We got a Virginia license plate over here. Wow. Oh yeah, this is the time when it was uh, insured or... I'm not sure what this logo, but this is zero, 00, so that's the year 2000. That's a long time ago. That's a very long time ago. Okay, here we are at the house. Oh. Such a peaceful morning it's day. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect. They also have this little shed over here. I love the steel bucket that's hanging from the side. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Uh, Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, I saw it, but I, I, I wanted to go away and I... That's dangerous to have it yeah. over here. Somebody can hurt himself. I literally swing that. Oh, look at this very old barn that we have over here. Okay. Uh, only device that interests me inside of here, oh, the floor is very weak, is this one. Oh. Is this sort of an exercising device? Yeah, it is. And a very vintage one, right? Yeah. I thought you were going to talk about the lamp, the oil lamp. Ah, yes, of course. I didn't even see it yet, but there's a wonderful oil lamp hanging here on the side. And an interesting part about it is there's also 
a wasps or bee nest made on top of the oil lamp. Look at this. This is something where you go on an adventure with. Yeah. Through to caves and into pirate ships and stuff like that. Okay, sorry, I have a wild imagination. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and the key to the house, Danny, is also left behind here. Oh. It's the key to the house. Let's leave it nicely where we found it. Okay, let's make our way inside right now. For most, this is an old abandoned home, but through their eyes it was a place they have always known. Down in the south of the United States we found an inconspicuous farm that once flourished with life, but now lays abandoned for almost two decades. The freshly married couple, Sarah and Herman, received this piece of land as a wedding gift from Sarah's parents. On this secluded piece of land, they built the house of their dreams. Over the course of four decades, they raised a beautiful family with no less than seven children, ran a successful business and made wonderful memories throughout their lives. Eventually, all the children moved out and unfortunately Sarah aged quickly from the back-breaking work she used to perform and passed away early at only 74 years old. This left Herman devastated, but he kept on working on that dream and lived at the farm until 2007 when he was in his late 90s. During this period he was not left alone. His seven children and 13 grandchildren would visit him regularly and their memories from this time can still be seen inside. The question remains, why did the children never show interest in their parents' life? Now we can only see a neat reflection of what it must have been like inside. Everything is still in the exact same place as Herman left it behind almost two decades ago. With the greatest respect, we will document their forgotten home and bring their memories back to life for one last time. I'm very excited to go inside of this place and show you the lives of Sir Sarah and Herman. And as you can see, once you walk into the house, you can notice that one and a half decades of decay has been happening here. The front porch is just completely falling apart. Oh, wow. Look over here in front of the door. These are Mrs. Mr. Herman, his last shoes when he left here. They look decayed. What I also find very prevalent in this porch is that there is a freezer inside of here. Why is there a freezer inside of the porch? I think, I think it's because they didn't have a basement. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe. They, they, okay. they, ha they had to place it somewhere. That's a fact from the south actually. In the south of the United States, houses don't have basements that often. They sometimes have them, but in the north we found all the houses with basements. Okay. Okay, there's luckily no meat anymore inside okay. of this freezer. <laughs> and this is the jewelry box from Sarah when she was still alive. Oh, wow. What's this in here? This looked at first like a fake to it, but it's nothing, no, luckily. It's just a pin, a yeah. hairpin. Okay, let's place this nicely over here back on the freezer. The rug is still laid out for us and ready for us to go inside of the house. I'm so excited to go into this one. Yes, I'm, I'm rubbing my feet before <laughs> I go inside, but welcome inside our hallway. I actually love this room. <laughs> what do you have there? Just notice this. There's an umbrella holder here and 
before Herman went out. Sometimes it rains in Virginia. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it rained this morning, actually. Uh, he took his umbrella and went out to go to the shop. Oh my God. Do you know, nice? in Portugal, we don't open umbrellas inside of houses because that's bad luck. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's a really uh, thing, yeah. Oh, we don't know that uh, thing. Oh, yes, let's place it back nicely where it belongs. There we go. And welcome inside of the hallway. I and absolutely love yeah, it. Yeah, I, can I point out oh, first? Of course, the colors on there the colors. are amazing. And then you think you didn't notice something else. Come over here. This jacket is also oh. still hanging here. So he took his umbrella, put his shoes on there in front of the door. And this is the jacket that Herman used to put on. I also love all these paintings and pictures frames here on the wall. Thomas that it's also still here. You can really see the prevalent decay starting to happen inside of this house. The wall is turning a little bit black. The paint is slowly shipping off. And this is the primitive fire alarm. The heck back then. Uh, I shouldn't say primitive. This was a, an advanced device for that time period. But uh, yeah. I think we should start off with the room of Herman. The last room that this man used to sleep in. You can see it's very prevalent. His walking aid is still standing in front of the sofa that he used to rest in back in the time. He used to sit in here all day long. Not all day long, but a lot of, uh, a lot of the time. And everything of his is still left behind. You can see the glasses, the very thick glasses that he used to wear. And then the telephone, where he called everybody with. Wow. There's even a pair of shoes standing here, right behind the sofa. Oh, oh, those were the nice ones. Yeah, and they're completely shipped up, as you can see. Yeah. Over the years that they oh, haven't been taken care of. The socks are still inside. Oh my God, Danny, that's a very good eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. They were literally here for him to start another day. That never happened. I also want to point out these chimney covers, they are amazing. Absolutely adore them. There used to be a chimney or a stove inside of this room. Okay, let's place this back nicely where we found it. And then over here, we have the vanity. Of course, Mr. Herman didn't use this, this that much anymore when Sarah passed away. But you can see still some of his stuff is left on top of here. A couple of things because he got to an old age. These are to aid him. And we also got this lovely baby shoe standing on top of here. Lovely white leather baby shoe. You smell that? Yeah. A I very smell that. strong smell of a man inside of this uh, inside of this room. But I think it's because of these bottles of English leather Cologne. And I always love to smell these. Then I get a real scent of the people that left in here. Yes, this smells like Herman. This does. This smells definitely like a man, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> All this paperwork. Is also still left on top of here. These are all his bank statements that we have in here. I'm not gonna go too in depth on this. Let's see if there's something in here. Oh wow. First and foremost, we have this card over here from grandchildren, it says on there. And it's delivered to Mr. Herman, it says on the front. This is something I think you would put on the flowers uh, at a funeral or something like that. From the grandchildren. Maybe when Mr. Herman passed away. This might have been for him, but I'm not sure about that. And then we also have a handwritten letter down here. Wow. 1976. Nice. Dear sister, it says on there. So they were writing to Sarah or one of the girls that lived inside of this yeah. house. Okay. A couple more things in here. Another pair of shoes. What do we have on top of here? Mrs. Sarah Hill. Oh my God, Danny, this is her dead note. Service of memory. memory. She yeah. passed away in 1986 at one. Oh, this is the, when the server is going through. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Here's the full description of everything. Mrs. Sarah Hill Johnson, age 74. Everything on there. When she passed away, 
what happened to her. Mr. Herman lost his wife a long time ago, three decades before he passed away. So he must have been very lonely inside of this place. And he grew to a very old age, if I'm right. I don't know his exact age, but it has to be at least 90 to match up with Sarah, her dad. Everything is also still in here. And then on top of there, we have a very interesting piece. I'm actually not 100% sure what it is, but okay, this holds grapefruit juice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen something like this before. Me neither. There are multiple of these in here. Look at that. But it, was it used as a poof or something? I have I no clue. Know. Because these are empty. They are empty. Okay, I love those. Built-in closet over here as well. And look at this side. I absolutely adore this. We have the washing bin over here. And like even the towel is still hanging from it from the last time that Herman threw something in here and closed it up. The scale is still left here. Still functioning. It even has an indication for kilograms. But oh. the main is bound. <laughs> and then behind it here, we have his bathroom. I will let you go first, Danny, because it's very, very small. Look at that. The bathtub. All the towels are still left behind. The bath on the cabinet here. All still neatly stacked and neatly placed on top of there. Oh, this toothbrush, this toothpaste, everything is still in here. And of course, this shaving equipment as well. I'm looking. Yes. Oh, yeah. Here yes, we have yes. it. This is a hole where you could put your razor blades inside after you're shaved. And it's probably full behind the hair. It's absolutely full of razor blades from Herman over the years. Not a towel left here. Okay. And then, of course, in the middle of the room, we have his lovely bed. This is actually a beautiful piece. Still made. I love the pillows that are up there. I think Sarah shows them for him and he never threw them away. Wow. Back in the hallway then. I, I, I noticed that I forgot to show you something in here. But we have this little space underneath the stairway where everything was stored from the ironing board to the vacuum cleaner. Wow. What's that? Oh. That's very interesting. Is this uh, something for rugby or how do you call it over here? Oh, just American football, yeah. right? Yeah, we call it rugby in uh, Europe, but it's not the same thing, right? Not exactly the same thing. I, I think it's the same. Okay. Oh, here it says the initials, KJ, it says on there. So it's probably from one of the sons or the daughters that played football back in that time in high school or college. Wow, this was an African-American family and they are mostly very good at these kinds of sports. Is that the number from uh, the person? Probably. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Okay, let's place it back neatly in there. I also love the jackets that are still hanging up here. And the hat. And the hat, exactly. Park Royal caps. Wow, you can get an imagination of how Mr. Herman used to look with the cap on, with the jacket on. Absolutely love that. The living space. Wow, a very important space in the house where the family came together in the evening, watched television, had conversations, talked about their days. Absolutely adore it. The main share of the house, the share of Herman, I would say, I can still see him sitting here, enjoying the television and that's the last days of life. And also together with his family, of course. <laughs> then these fallen down paintings over here. Russell Morton, it says on there. Beautiful foresty landscape. It actually looks like the landscape that we have behind, behind the house. Yeah, it does. Yeah, from this area and this one as well. Wow, October moon or wood. Wow. Danny, this fireplace cover is even more beautiful than the one we had in Herman's room. Look at that. So from a lady walking through a flower garden. Absolutely adore those. And this sofa is very, very bright with a lot of colors and a lot of detail yeah. and design. Beautiful. And here we have a board game left behind. One of the last board games that they used to play together. 
Lots of things from the children, I would say, inside of this room. There's also this playhouse, probably from the daughter Christine, that left inside of here. Look at that, all the little pieces of furniture. And underneath the broken glass here, we have a picture of Herman and Sarah in their younger days. That's beautiful. Copper pan down here as well. Is this something you would make yourself because it looks... Uh, yeah, I think so. It's a tafted rug, I would say. Yeah, all these lovely colors on there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I point out the head? Oh yeah, for sure, Danny. This is also it's one of Herman's hats. deteriorating, but it's There's so beautiful. There's holes beautiful. all over it. This man was a hat lover, a hat and cap lover. Penny's Marathon hats. Right above you. That's something you gotta point out. A chandelier. We actually don't find chandeliers that much in houses in the United States. So it was always a surprise and a rare event to find a beautiful one like that. This is ones that we would have in Europe. Oh yeah. Wonderful piece. And then, of course, we have the television over here. The, the watching area where they would watch together television. Lovely piece. Emerson. It's very modern also. Oh, the knobs. You can adjust a lot of things on this television, I would say. Oh, those are letters. Yeah. I think it's for adjusting stuff. And here we have another picture. Not a couple of pictures of their daughter. It's completely falling apart. This picture frame, but she looks lovely in there. I love this one down here. Her sitting in the library, holding a letter. Gonna slowly place it back because the glass is slowly falling everywhere. And I love these pieces as well, these hanging plant pots. Oh yeah. It seems like everything that has been knitted in this house has been done by somebody. Yeah. Maybe Sarah or the daughter loved to knit and make these kinds of things. We have another one of those down here on the ground. I think it was for that one, but... Yeah, they replaced it with this one at yeah. one point. And then these plastic flowers in there. Very untasteful, I would say. But. <laughs> huh. And then a complete book rack with all the world's books from A <gasps> to Z. Is there I something special about it? Yeah, look, look in the corner. No, 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 up, a corner, up. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't even see those. Wow. Oh, look at this. That's amazing. <gasps> what do you find? This is the bedroom. Oh, yeah. This is the bedroom and you can see one of those two is Sarah. I want to you know, this is Christine for sure or the other daughter. And this is Sarah that we have there. Definitely. These are all pictures that have been made inside of the house. Oh, yeah. This is That's the, 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 the yeah, dining area that dining we're going to see a little bit later. And here is Sarah on vacation. Wow. Here's when their daughter was just born. Oh, wow. and look at her, all fancy over there. All fancy pants. Wow. <laughs> this is so crazy to see. Oh, I love I this love one it. as well. I'm going to show this one and then we're going to place it back. Yeah, there's a lot of photos. A lot, a lot of photos. Wow. <laughs> these really give depth to a story and these really tell the life story of Sarah, her man, Herbin, and the Johnson family that lived inside of this house. Okay, let's go further. I love all the little knickknacks as well that we have hanging here on the side. Look at that. Okay, let's welcome you now into the dining space. So the picture we just saw was made from this, this angle. angle. With the stove and everything, they had a different stove that also had a single sewing machine standing there back in the time. So the room has changed over the years, but I still love it. And this was where the family had dinner together. Everybody would be sitting here, probably Herman and Sarah at the tops of the table, at the tops yeah. of the table and the children in between. And an address book over here. I love the lettering that we have on the front cover of it. And that's of course where they wrote all the letters down the numbers of their friends and family. 
are all still in here and left behind. Oh, wait, sorry. Did you see some? Yeah, I saw the uh, hand again, the hands. Oh, you thought. I mean, oh, no, that's just a, a that's brain just calendar. Church, okay, uh, church pamphlet. That's not a, yeah. another. Yeah, memorial. exactly. It's brain calendar. Memorial thing. Okay. okay. This cabinet is completely filled still with glasses and cups and everything they used to use and treat the guests with. And again, Danny, I just saw something in the corner of my eye. Oh, yeah, down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, one thing before I show that. Look at these napkins. Oh, wow. Christine and David, September 26, 1970. So that's from their wedding. That's from the daughter of their wedding, wedding. Because their daughter is named Christine and she's married to David in 1970. Wow. And Sarah even got to see her marry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because wow. a decade later, she passed away. <gasps> wow. <laughs> and here it says it again. That's, that's the same napkins. But I also saw this enormous stack of pictures down oh. below here. <laughs> oh my God, those are a lot of pictures. Yeah, let me see for some interesting ones. I love this one. Wow. These ladies also look this, very yeah. fancy. Wow, here, here we are. I think we got a complete family picture over here. Oh yeah. That's all on the backyard of the house. They look farmers for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Wow. Can see. Oh my god, I love these photos. Oh, look at this. Finally. This is the. the oh, this is a hermit, right? Uh, yeah, oh, oh one no, of the, the boys. sun. Yeah, 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 the sun, okay. And okay. they are playing baseball, baseball over there. Baseball. Here is in front of the house. Danny, I can go through here forever. There's so many pictures left behind. They did like a little photo shoot over here. I'll place it over there. You can see it. Ah, and here they are all neatly dressed up in their uniforms. Wow. Mm. These are some Caucasian children, some white children. Mm. Yeah, maybe come over to play. That's lovely. Look at so many. I can literally go through here forever. This is probably Herman probably in front of the car with the, the license car, plate we yeah. just saw. Wow. Wow. Whew. This is lovely. The story that we are making here in this building is insane. Okay, let's place this back neatly in the cabinet over here. And then we can look at the rest of this room. Unfortunately, again, a little bit of vandalism inside of this house. Smashed up the window or smashed up the mirror. Please don't do that. Oh, we got the last supper over here. Lovely. I love this one as well. A plate from the sunny sunshine state from Florida. The first place that I came into when I got to the United States. Very interesting uh, state, I would say. <laughs> Not gonna say anything more about it. No, no, it's Florida, oh, Florida. is fun. Florida is fun. Absolutely. I like the hot. Yeah. <laughs> Controlling weight. But oh, this is a, a book for uh, Weight Watchers or to, uh, to diet with. Oh. Somebody in the house was trying to diet. And have we looked at this one already? Knits are easy. Oh, this is like a book that, that she completely put together, she or he. All different things, I'm not 100% sure, sure yeah. what uh -huh. would be in here. Yeah, just some watering and, and how to knit and stuff like that. Some household stuff, a lovely stove over here, and also a television in this room. And Danny, do you see it? Oh yeah, I see it again. Again, a big, big, big stack okay, let of me pictures. Show the TV. Yeah. Oh, and then I will show you all the pictures. One of the boys was also in the army, as you can see. I think I think they only had one boy. Yeah. So. Seems like it. We have a couple of girls. We know they had five children. One of them is Christine, but more we don't really know about it yet. This might have been Sarah, though. She looks yeah. beautiful. Oh, and here we got another picture. Wow. Look at this. Bahamas. Oh. They went on a vacation over there. So they were farmers, but they had some money though to travel uh, around the world, especially in those times. It was not cheap to travel. All the keys are also still left there. Okay. Let's now wander into the kitchen of the place where the bellies were filled.
step inside of right now. Oh, telephone is hanging almost on the ground. That's one of the same ones. Okay, look at this. They even had a little menu in here. And Christine is on dial too. Christine, oh, the daughter. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That probably tells us also that she's one of the oldest daughters because she's the one that they would call in the yeah, event yeah. of emergency. Yeah. Let's place this back nicely over here. Wow. <laughs> you can see over here, this was Sarah's kitchen <laughs> when she was, and he, yeah, Herman kept that up there, of course, for the entirety of his life. I love these little pans up here. They're hanging there. What's this device? Is this a toaster? Oh, I've never seen one of those before. I think so. There's an American toaster oven, it says over here. Wow. And you know what this is, Danny? Yeah. Can, Can opener. Open yeah. But some people don't know because electric ones are very unprevalent. I would really? Say. Yeah. In Belgium, we don't have them that much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know about I Portugal. We have it. Yeah. We have manual and. Uh, you see Electric. again, this is the uh, setup here in the kitchen, uh, the washing and drying machine are in the kitchen. You found that very weird at first, right? It is, it is weird. Yeah. You don't have the washing in the kitchen. But in the United States, you see this a lot, especially in the old houses. Yeah, there's the washing machine. In smaller in houses, yes, I've seen a lot. Yeah. Look at this. Lovely American washing machines. And even the roll of kitchen paper is still up there. Knife still there, everything still present. The pots and pans where Herman made his last meal with. It's sad and beautiful at the same time. Uncle Ben's original rice, also over here. Wow. We're gonna open one of these cabinets. Look at this one. Still completely filled with all the pots and cups. Oh, but I gotta point it one more time. They spade graffiti inside of this cabinet. You see oh that? yeah, oh yeah. Now that's, that you point it out, yeah, I saw it. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah, the cups also. But everything is still one piece and I love these apples. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Are they salt and pepper shakers? I think so. What's in the bottom? I oh yeah, they are salt and pepper shakers. You oh yeah, up. you fill it up. And then you can, there's nothing in there anymore, unfortunately, but yeah, those were salt and pepper shakers. They had some good taste inside of this place. Also love all the little glass bottles that we have here above the stove. Wow, and then the food again blows my mind. Okay, a note to my brother. We have this old American fridge over here. I love the wooden design wow. of that. Even back then, they already had ice dispensers inside of their yeah. fridges. I don't even have that still in Europe. No. Oh, look at this before I open it up. Here we have a receipt from the store from back in that time period. This is from 1999. Whoa. Why did they keep it up here so long? Oh, okay. Luckily, luckily there's empty. nothing inside anymore. <laughs> wow. And the kitchen table over here, most likely to eat their breakfast and stuff like that. <laughs> I also hate it and love it. This it, it looks absolutely awful. I'm sorry, but it's it's horrendous. <laughs> but I think it's it's a good way to recycle these kind of of, of uh, uh, can, yeah, can holders. holders yeah. yeah, it's a good way to recycle them. But it's, it it looks awful though. Yeah, it doesn't look really good. Love is to the heart. What sunshine to the flowers and that quote is a hundred percent right a lovely strawberry curtain on top of here can i before yeah. you go further oh, of course i just saw this for you mom today tomorrow always it's, it's the easter then you know what this is what you just found this is a uh, card from the Happy children easter. yeah yeah all the children's names are down here christine David, the one son, Lana, Lachelle, and uh, Quintin, Quintin, or Lu Luentin. I'm not um, sure about the last name. Wow. All okay. the children's names are still in there. So we were right, five. Five, exactly. Yep. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay, this ends up again in the porch. Oh. <laughs> yep, where we started. So that means that it's time right now to go up that stairway. 
go do a lap around again. And we're going to let you go first, Danny. Thank you. And then you can go up. Oh, is there a bird up there? I just saw a bird flying over. So watch bird? out. Oh, yeah, oh. it's in the room. Okay. It's inside of the room. Oh, oh, poor thing. Okay, should I save it somehow? I'm going to open it. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Do you think he... Okay. I'm going to try to get it out of the house. Yeah, open the window. Do you think he can go through the front, front door? Maybe through the front door. I don't know how it got in. He probably delete. cannot get out, out anymore. Okay. Let's see. If I can see it somewhere. Where is it? Let, let it come to here and then close the door so okay, he doesn't I, go anywhere. I can catch it. If, oh. Okay. 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 Come on, baby. Fly. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Down, down, down. Where is light? Come on. Down, down. Come on, buddy. It's going to be a process oh. to get it outside. Yeah. Buddy. Oh, poor thing. Come on, buddy. What? <laughs> He's literally flying. I'm trying to camera. catch it. And then I'm going to... <laughs> oh my god! Don't, don't be scared, buddy. Don't be scared. Oh my god! It's looking at me. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of cute. <laughs> and it's a new one. It's a small one. Yeah, it's a baby boy or baby girl. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing about it. Okay. Words. If you don't mind, I'm gonna place the camera so yeah. we can save it. Okay. Buddy! I, I, I touched him already. Okay, he's gonna be there. Okay. I think Leslie got it. A challenge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I hope I didn't tire them out too much. He tired me out though. <laughs> but I will open it up again later so we can get him back inside of the house because I saw he has a little bird nest up there. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything in there. No, it seems to be so. empty. But he has a little bird nest up there, so I'm gonna open the window that he can come back inside if he wants to sleep here. I got this little upstairs hallway over here. A very nice drawer. Wow. Let's see if there's something inside of here. No, this is ah, empty. empty. Ooh. This is a record, bro. Yeah. Oh, there's still some records inside of here. Cordy. Wow. Wow. Merlis so, of Love. You know what that means? No. There's a record play inside. Oh, yeah, that must be. That must be. <laughs> that must be. Love this piece of furniture as well. Compliments the drawer that we just saw. And of course, basketball. basketball. Yeah. American basketball. I love the room that we have over here with the curtains that open up. Look at that. You can go inside, my friend. Thank you. There you go. Wow, this complete room is still made. It looks like it's completely untouched. The bed is still here, the pillows still on top. And I always love to see the paint that's shipping off the ceiling and forming over here on the bed. Look at that. Oh, the building is falling apart. You can see it behind you, Danny. You can even look out there. You can see the light shining from the outside inside no. of the building. Mm, not, not really. really. Okay. No, not really. <laughs> A little bit. Wow, everything is decaying inside of this room. Does he have? Of course, all um, the clothes of Herman yeah. are still in here. Wow, these look like they have blood stains on them. Looks like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Jeez, that's, that's terrible. Close it back. Yeah, that's 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 a bit scary, I would say. Yeah. All this clothing still left here. <sighs> an Electrolux. What's an American house without an <laughs> Electrolux? Electrolux hover? <laughs> wow. Oh. Little wheels of the need there. Oh wow. Love this. And the really vacuum cool. hose as well. Clothes of his still left here. Oh, and this vanity also has some very interesting stuff on top of there. First and foremost, oh, yeah. I think he had that to get looks, a lot. 
Yeah, that looks like blood. Yes, he does. Ooh. I'm, yeah. That's terrible. Now so I'm kind of concerned. Yeah, me too. <gasps> Virginia Motor Vehicle Registration, Herman O. Johnson. And this one is from 1947, two years wow. after the war. He insured a car. And it's probably the car that he's standing in front of on that picture. Oh, yeah. Wow. And here we have another thing. This is for the Western Railway safety reminder. Wow. Love that. Okay, a lamp over here and everything and all his clothes are also still left down there. His pants still neatly on top of the chair. His handkerchief even still left here. Handkerchief is the proper word for it, right? In English, we would call the handkerchief though. What is that? <laughs> yeah, that's like a little uh, to blow your nose in. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. That's, nobody don't uses know those name. anymore nowadays. But I My grandfather does. I sometimes still yeah. use them. I sometimes still use them. We have some pants down here as well. List of active registers for board. USCS examiners. Something American, I have no clue what that means. And what do we have over here? First class mail to Langston Johnson. There's nothing in there anymore. Okay. And then we have the last bedroom up here. Ooh, let's open the door up. Oh, <clears throat> I can already floor. Feel a little bit unsturdy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah. saw so in the living room, the ceiling was caving in, so oh, uh, this it's is a little bit room. unstable okay. in here. Yeah. The first thing I immediately notice is the pictures up here. That's definitely David, because that was their only son. Yeah. Can still see graduated there. Wonderful. And those were the ladies. They have a very young child and a bit older child as well. This might have been Christine, though. Even their baby shoes are still left here. These are the blue ones in comparison to the white ones downstairs. Love those. Christmas cards left here. Oh, and this is like a, a thing where you could put them all on. You can see? Yeah. She made this. I don't think it's for cards. I think it's just for decoration, but yeah. yeah. Look at that. Really? Love, Elizabeth. Christmas cards. Oh, they even have a picture of a family on top of there. These are all Christmas wishes. The best wishes for the coming year. David, Christine, Lachelle, and Dana. <laughs> look, look, look. Oh, even her hat is still up here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Danny, and this is what we were looking for. The record player. Oh, the house. oh. yeah. Look how beautiful oh, it's yeah, designed. Oh, yeah, the speaker. Yeah, speaker in front and then a record player on top. There is even still a couple of records inside of here. Yeah. What's this? Stuck of records. Yeah. Beautiful symphony. Never seen this device, one of these before. They are lovely. Absolutely. They are beautiful. Lovely. Oh, more, hats. more hats. You can definitely see that this was a Sarah room or Christina room. Uh, one of the two or one of the daughters. But all the lovely hats still left on top of here. Absolutely love them. Yeah, question. Have you noticed that the house is small and it only has like three rooms yeah. for five kids? Yeah, that's true. But uh, I think back in that time period, uh, also the kids used to sleep together in a room. They didn't have their own separate rooms, of course. But maybe the children were also older and already moved out and had new children or something okay. like that. But those yeah, are all true. just things yeah, that yeah, I have yeah. in my head. I'm not 100% sure how it went down in here, but it's always interesting to think about. What's this? Is this a shower cap or something? Or I'm not sure what this is. Wow. Seems like some sort of a wig. <laughs> I don't know. Let's place it together with the hats and the bed. It's also still lovely made over here. All the suitcases with the purses on top. Isn't that just lovely? That's a lovely side. I love this leather one that we have down here. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And yes, in here, all the ladies' clothes were hung up. All the dresses of the ladies. Very the colorful. Yeah, they loved color. But you see there's a lot with African-American families that always proudly show their colors and uh, yeah. they have an... Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Okay, we visited the whole house. Oh, wait, one more thing. I just noticed this one over here. 
And this is a handmade sort of lantern that I made from plastic or from foam cups. You would just place it over a, a piece of lighting like this. And then you had like sort of a lantern that disperses oh. and diffuses the light. Very primitively made. You can just see toilet paper and foam cup and just some paper clips to hold it all together. <laughs> that's interesting, it's cool. Yeah, so these little quirky things I always love in houses. Yeah. And that for me makes these residential places very interesting because you can find stories, things that people did throughout their lives. Even the head of Herman also still lying here on the ground. Okay, let's go outside because I still have to show you the front of the house before we go out. Okay. of the house now and I absolutely adore it over here they had this front porch and over the years of abandonment literally everything is overgrowing vines are taking over and come have a look over here Danny if we jump down I just took something from inside of the house I'm of course going to place it back but this is a picture of the front porch and that's literally over here you can see this area over here and the chairs you see on this picture yeah that's literally the chair oh, <laughs> that we have over there oh it's that chair yeah you can see it the colors and everything yeah they completely match up what's on here <laughs> this has been here for a long time because this picture is old it's really old wow well, show the house for one last time from the outside I absolutely adored going through this place. What a story of Sarah and Harriman. He being inside of here for a long time alone and just the house in general with all the memories that are left in it made for a very, very special exploration. I want to thank you all for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe down there if you're new to the channel and also write me a nice comment in the comment section. Danny, his link is also in the description. He makes videos as well. And thank you, thank you. with that, we're going to say goodbye. Oh, one more thing. If you want to support us on these journeys around the world, there is a link in the description for Patreon. And there you can support the channel and help us out. It would mean the world to us because then we can travel the world. <laughs> thank you so much. And see you next week in another lovely episode. Bye bye. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>